It me for you tonight to have kind of performance you did with some of the extra storylines going on for you with the former coach and such. Uh, yeah, it, meant, it meant a lot, you know. I visualized it, you know, a couple nights before, and dream come true. Trey, what was working so well with the run game today? Like, what were you guys doing effectively? Running uh, well? well, you know, with we film before the game, uh, film before the game, we prepared for this game this whole week. Uh, we prepared for it, so. I guess that's kind of what happened, you know. We expected the look that they gave us. We expected it, and it worked. On that, uh, almost touch on you. Um, had a nice spin move, like you know. Um, what did you see on that play? Because it looked like they had you in the backfield, and you just were able to get out of that, and then it came up just a yard short. I kind of uh, surprised myself, but I just kept moving my feet, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm not on the ground yet." <laughs> so I just kept moving. Those second and third effort runs—is that something you've always done in your football career, or is, or is that? Something you're, you're developing? Uh, I mean, I feel like I've been developing in it, you know. Um, high school, I, it was just one shot and I was gone. But yeah, now at this level, I've been developing, you know, uh, second effort, third effort runs, and I'm just getting better at it. Do you keep track, like, when, you know, your missed tackles? Is that something you keep track of, or? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> keep track of it at all. It's like something you see in wrestling when a guy gets like hit and he pretends like it makes him feel better. I mean, do you get stronger, like the longer the game goes on, the more damage you're inflicting on the opponent? Uh, the more reps I get, the, you know, the more in sync I am, you know? So I guess it just takes the reps. Could, could you tell the offensive line was determined to do well against that defensive line? Oh yeah, they came off the ball. They came, I'm proud of those guys. You know, um, with um, um, Ward out, you had to, you know, go through more of the, um, um, the bell cow role, and then you've had to feel, you know, like, you talk about how you guys complement each other, all three of you guys, but how have you guys done in the past two, you know, three games without Ward? Uh, you know, Ward, he continued to, you know, push us. Um, he was actually available today, but he just didn't go, you know, but I knew I had to, me and MC had to put the, you know, put the running back on our shoulders, and we had just had to fight. You talked about a kind of maybe the extra storyline, obviously going against your former head coach. Is that something, has it been hard not to think about that for a long time, kind of know it was on the schedule, or do you let yourself think about that? Nah, I don't let myself think about it until, you know, until that time come, you know. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they was, they was proud of me tonight, though, um, after the game. I spoke to them, you know, chopped it up, and that's about it. Trey, two years ago this team lost, you were here, I know, but two years they lost four by 42 points to Miami in this building, and now you all just won by 42 points in this building. I guess, is this what you thought you were joining? What, what did you think you were joining? What kind of program did you think you were joining? What does that say about what Coach Morvell is building? Yeah, that kind of swing. yeah, this program is just about us, you know. I, I expected as soon as I got here, you know, I had faith in this team. If I didn't have faith in this team, I wouldn't have committed here. So I knew what Coach uh, Novell had going with us, and we just got to continue to climb. It's, it's all about us, honestly. A couple more. Cam Akers tweeted out, A, Trey Uno, boy, I'm proud of you carrying that three like that, hashtag bubbles. What, what does that mean for Cam? Oh, I didn't know he did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, it's, it's a lot coming from Cam, you know, um, watching him growing up. It's a lot coming from him, though. I'm gonna have to reach back out to him. Could you, just one of those games you're gonna remember the rest of your life? Oh yeah, this one, this one again, I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life because you know going against my former head coach and this rivalry game as well. So this game definitely in, my, in the books. Could you tell how much it meant to the Miami guys, like either during or after the game, the guys who your your teammates who are from South Florida? Could you tell how much it meant to them? You know, uh, like to my first day, right? Yeah. Uh, it meant it meant a lot to them. You know, they um. They were determined this whole week of practice. You know, I never seen they them so locked in. They were so locked in. You know, practicing in this week, and it paid off. You know, after the game, and they were so happy. They was happy for me. They was happy for everybody, and they played their butt off today. Let's go to Mark. I mean, um, just coming into this um, Miami um, Florida State rivalry for the first time, what was that like to play in that atmosphere? What was that atmosphere like? Then? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. That first quarter, it was loud. You know, we could barely hit a single. We could barely hit a clap. It was loud though. It was, it was it was fun though. It was fun to be in. Do you feel like this is one of the best games you've played in your football career? Like, where do you think it ranks for you personally? Uh, I feel like yeah, I feel like this is number one for right now. You know, it's three games left, so I, I'm hoping I can top that.